Well, it is Monday morning. Good. There we go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm finally using my Manfrotto a hand handheld tripod here. Mono, mono. That's not a monopod. It's a handheld tripod. Uh, which I'll, I'm not using my tripod. I'm not using my SLR on this trip. I'm actually saving so much um, so much gear from last trip that I don't even need my backpack anymore. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is packing uh, the the camping camping bag here, but no no tripod or no no tripod no backpack, which we're going to go up top here. And the main thing is really top heavy. Uh, the only thing I am taking with me, which I wasn't going to do initially, was the laptop because I need to uh, each day uh, each day I take all the data off my cameras. So I've got this camera, the GoPro, the TomTom. Tom, um, that's it. Um, all the data comes off those on my MacBook Pro, and then I move all that data over to the external hard drive as well. So I've got two copies of it um, in case anything happens to the laptop or the hard drive. But uh, everything is pretty much done. I'm going to load this guy up and the helmet is clean. The GoPro is ready. I'm going to do a little vlog here on the way to, um, to get my hair cut. Today I'm getting the hair cut. So beard, all that shit's going to be gone. Taking the bike to the car wash, which is necessary. And then um, taking the bike I might go to Jacksonville tonight and drop it off. That way the guys at BMW can get it first thing in the morning. Because uh, they did ask me to do that anyway because that way the, um, the engine would be cool. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. <clears throat> um, and then tonight I'm staying with my sister uh, and making her dinner. And we're going to catch up. I haven't seen her in like a year. But the bike is ready. She started up just fine. <clears throat> Once I have all of my gear on today, hit the road. But basically I'm packing everything up today as I would for my trip. The only thing that's gonna be different is that my dad has, um, next to his truck, we're gonna put the um, the tires and the crash bars in the back of his truck and they'll go over to my, my, my sister's place, my mom's place. Um, I'm pretty happy though. Pretty stoked, it's almost here, almost time to leave. Uh, 24 hours basically, and I'll be on the bike heading north to Jacksonville for all the maintenance and then by noon tomorrow, I'll be on the road heading north, uh, probably through Savannah up to um, Greenville, South Carolina. Woot woot. Alright, hello everyone. This is the uh, suit in 2017. Uh, beard's coming off soon, but this is the suit. And the bike is ready to go. We're just going to go out for uh, a little short trip here for the day just to like, warm things up a little bit get back in the motion got the the nice blue and red there and we have the red helmet but uh yeah i'm pretty pretty happy with the overall colored pattern here it's really thick there's tons of padding on it too she needs a bath so we're at the car wash and we're going to get some change It's Florida, so hopefully no one stole my shit while I was over here. All right, well, after I get my first ride on the bike, you can see just how bad my hair is. So we are going to hair cuttery. We're just gonna walk in and uh, hopefully get a haircut. So, Heather, this is uh, it for my hair for this round. Okay, we are done with the haircut. I'm bald. My scalp is very dry and I'm now bald. But give it a 24 hours and all this will come back in. Also, I went to Lens Crafters because I forgot my daily contact lenses. I only wear them whenever I'm during motorcycle season. I wear glasses year round. And I only wear them when I'm riding. And I really needed contact lenses. So I went in with my prescription for my optometrist and tried to buy some. And they did not keep those in stock. So they gave me some trials for, it looks like five days. Which, thank you Lens Crafters. 
you know, for my my 1,000 subscribers. Uh, really appreciate this. Yeah, I think it's five per, but um, yeah, it's really nice of them. So this is this is cut now, and now we are going to go back to Dad's gym and then get some lunch, and then we're going to uh, do a little workout. Good day. Yeah, look how beautiful it is here in Florida. This is just gorgeous. You have to wave to everyone. I have to. That's Marley, that's my sister. Hello. This is her house, that's her Jeep. Hello. Uh, so I just got to, to Marley's and we're gonna have dinner soon after Cheyenne gets here. And I think we're gonna go to the store and try to get a, um, so this is bigger than a T40. So I need to get a larger than T40 to put on the new crash bars. Um, but we're gonna do dinner, we're gonna do some booze. We're gonna do some booze, Marley? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do some, uh, some uh, Shirley Temples, and I don't know, maybe I'll shower tonight. Mom got you some... This is Cheyenne. So uh, Cheyenne has told us that we cannot go to get sushi, so we are now gonna go to... Um, to Longhorn. <laughs> they have really good mushrooms. Oh uh, and also, Cheyenne is driving, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. That's okay. So this, this, who calls the shotgun? Me. Go. So if someone finds this video, this SD card <laughs> video, this is the person driving. <laughs> Do we have everything? I have a wallet and I have a phone. Do I need anything else? Yeah, I'm definitely going to die. This is uh, my sister's car. Hey Molly, could you pull your uh, your no, seat you forward? Just... Like I can't even <laughs> see out my fucking window. Are you comfy, Adam? I'm having a recliner back there. He has it's way too much for a bit. No, he's not, hun. I can't see out my window. You have to move back. It's a roll in the car, okay? <laughs> Ow, now I can't breathe. You told me that before. Yeah. Yeah. I have a headache. Why is that headache? Because your car gets the smell gives me I'll, I'll be in getting a table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she said let them hit me. Okay. That's what she said. Yeah, she said. Nigga, I will come back. No, I'm just kidding. But if I would have heard it, I would have like, All right, for those of you wondering, this is the menu of a Longhorn Steakhouse. I really think the last time I went here was like when I lived in San Augustine, though. What? I think the last time I went here was like in San Augustine when I lived here. I just gave someone like total seizure. We just left Longhorn Steakhouse. It was very good. And how was your meal? How do you just like walk around with the camera all the time and like hold it up in the air and expect people not to look at you like Her you're meal was really good. <laughs> I have four chins right now. I, I had a beard this morning. You guys didn't see this one. I had a beard this morning. I saw you um, with a beard. Long oh, you did? Okay. It was really good, but like, Yeah, it was cute. delicious. I mean, it was not okay. good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good. I look so pale on this camera. Um, why don't you go to Home Depot instead? Whatever you think has the most chance of me having a T50 drill bit. Well, I've never been to Lowe's because they literally just built it. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. A couple months ago. Like a year ago. No, it has not been a year. Yeah. No, it has It's been not. a while. I will tell you it's been like four months. I don't think it was. Um, it was still in the process of being built before I lived in this house. 
Um, four months is definitely not true because uh, Mark, I almost said dad. Mark? That's Can we talk about the fact that Music Matters still is still open? Yes. How is that place still open? I love I that know. store. I go there all the time. Like, I, you would have thought iTunes killed them like 12 years ago. Yeah, yeah. it's a dope store. But they don't give a fuck. No, I really always enjoyed going in there. Oh, but like, it's remember some... St. Augustine's also full of like hipsters and hipsters. Oh. So we yeah. all love that shit. Like, I don't yeah. want to go to an actual, like, yeah, I'd rather go there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's a Home Depot. I didn't know this was here. Yeah. Yeah, it's been here since way before you moved away from here. Like, for the past, like, really? 35 years. I don't know what's going on. Um, I do remember Steak and Shake, though. I spent a lot of evenings at Steak and Shake. That's where Adam yeah. works. He works at night. <laughs> We would go to Steak and Shake every night after martial arts class and, and hang out there. I bet. That's what I do. After work, I go to Steak and Shake and a fucking milkshake for free because I don't work there. Okay, we're at Home Depot. We're, uh, basically I've got these big stars on the bike that I need to take apart to get the crash bar off. Yeah. And I think, I think it's a T50. So, one of the tool areas. It's very quiet here past night. I guess home improvement isn't really happening late at night. At 9 o'clock at night? No. We should get shy and something completely ridiculous to, like just some joke gift. Dog um, I'm gonna start on this side actually. So those are these, those guys there, little star things. But I need a super big one. Uh, so now I have to start trying to find them. Nope. Maybe there's an automotive section. This tool area is way bigger than our tool area at my Home Depot. 